Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active sky, certainly, but more than that, it is fortunate and it is important as well. We have the second of two rare back-to-back -back full moons in the same part of the sky for you. We've got important activations, downright lucky activations taking place at the very top of your sky and some very romantic energy with you for most of the month as well. So there's a lot to talk about here. Let's start with the energy taking place at the very top of your sky. Now this is a part of the sky that has to do with career, social standing, life purpose, and it has to do with you feeling in alignment, in particular, that sense of alignment with a higher, more loving vision for your life. This is a part of the sky that is connected to rewards and accolades and favors from higher ups and bosses. It has to do with interviews and audition situations. And we have for you one of the most fortunate days that is going to take place in this part of the sky for a very long time to come. You're certainly not going to see energy like this or as fortunate as this, certainly for the rest of the year. I mean, there's always opportunities to create a fortunate turn of events, but energy like this is rare. It is expansive, it is hopeful, and it is filled with possibilities. And this is the sun moving through the very top of your sky, speaking in supreme harmony with Jupiter. Jupiter sending a burst of energy to this very important, sensitive, and expansive part of your sky. Now this is gonna set up one of the more fortunate days of the year, and for it to be taking place in this very consequential part of your sky tells me that there's great possibility here to secure some promotion, to have a sense of aligning and excelling in your chosen role. But before we get you there, well, that's what's more interesting to me because just this energy in and of itself can make a person kind of lazy. That's the best way to put it. it. Makes a person a little bit too laid back. However, it is when we have other supporting elements that suggest action, motivation, determination, well, that's when you're able to make that much more of what is good. And that's coming as well. And that is thanks to a new moon early in the month, right around the fourth or fifth, depending on where you are on the planet, we will have a new moon. And this new moon taking place in the same part of your sky, also speaking in supreme harmony with Jupiter. However, this new moon will also be speaking with Saturn and with Pluto. Now, I am actually very excited about that. Even though these are conversations of tension, there's a sense here of wanting transformation, of being focused on the change you wish to experience and being willing to make the sacrifices, to put in the time necessary in order to achieve your goals. This is a new sense or a renewed sense of what is possible for you and defining success for yourself and being willing to take action to move yourself in that direction. Now, along the way, you may face some of your own fears, some of your own doubts. It could be that there's someone else who is reflecting these fears or doubts back to you and that really is okay because it is the faith that you have in your ability, in your skill, in what you have demonstrated over and over again to yourself that lets you know that you are prepared to move yourself in the direction you desire to go. With that sense of determination, and as I said, the right sacrifice, the motivation, the actions that you take will ultimately set things up so that you can have that sense of a breakthrough have that sense of a gain that you make right in the middle of the month. Again, one of the most luckiest days of the year is going to take place right around the 14th of April. I would give this a couple of days on either side. Let's just say the whole week surrounding this day is one that is very fortunate. And it is going to be right along this week that 
what starts somewhat challengingly at the new moon at the beginning of the month, well, that's when it's gonna pay off. If there is any kind of interview or audition situation or important conversation that you need to have, even important documents that you may need to fill out, well, I don't think you're gonna wait till the middle of the month to do that. I'm seeing you actually initiate things at the new moon, but it is uh, at those dates, whatever you can schedule in the middle of the month has that much more of a sense of possibility and of sense that the universe is gonna work a little bit harder, if not a lot harder, to have you make gains. Now, as we move later into the month, right around the 19th of the month, we are going to have a full moon. Now, if you think back last month, we had a full moon as well. Now, that full moon took place at the very foundation of your chart, but it happened at the very beginning of its respective sign, and so, Full moons represent closure and culmination, a matter that comes full circle. But with that full moon at the very beginning of its sign, as I spoke of last month, well, with that sense of completion came a sense of enthusiasm for what was beginning and the beginning that it promised you. Well, now we are going to have a second rare full moon in the same part of the sky. Some people like to call this a blue moon and it is similar in that it's in the same part of the sky, foundation of your chart. However, the full moon this month will take place at the very end of its respective sign, which means it will have a heightened sense of closure, but also emotion as well. Where this full moon is taking place is called an anorectic degree, which uh, means it's basically a way of saying that it has a stronger concentration of energy and brings with it some urgency as well. And so whatever it felt like was beginning for you last month, it looks like there might have been developments around matters of home, uh, perhaps your family of origin. It could have been anything from like your literal home where you live, buying, selling, moving, new roommate, um, but not really knowing where to go with it before, kind of excited about what's possible. Well, now we come to this point where we have this second full moon and this is very consequential. And so it is that this is the time when whether or not you wish that things could go a certain way, there's gonna be a need to make a decision and it's possible to make a decision very quickly. And it is also possible now that you'll just need to pay a little bit more attention, if not a lot, to just be more focused on a particular matter. It's likely not gonna be something that's a complete surprise. It's been there since last month, certainly. And the first appearance of what it was that this full moon is meant to mean for you showed up at the last full moon at the equinox on March 21st. And so in some way, what happens now will hearken to what happened back then. But at the same time, it's just gonna ask you to be decisive and to focus your energies. The great thing is, is that you have it to give. Keep in mind this as well, even though what happens now will hearken to what took place then, there is still a strong sense of some surprise, even some impulsiveness that could be there, but also fortune as well. It looks like there's luck around this full moon. The full moon that takes place this month will be speaking in harmony with Jupiter, so that's the luck factor. However, it's also standing across the sky from Uranus as well with some mathematical precision. In what astrologers would say, it's not a true opposition, okay? So that's the, the terminology. Basically, it is this full moon and Uranus that are opposite each other, but not by sign, but still with mathematical precision. And so they're opposite each other, which adds to this element of uh, a need to address a matter that comes up very quickly, that feels like it comes up perhaps out of nowhere, but you will realize that there is some connection to what took place last month that is part of what is transpiring now. The potential for real breakthroughs and leaping into your future and being excited is there still this month as well. And as I said, whatever does transpire, you will act quickly. And based on your action, you will be able to find yourself 
cultivating a set of fortunate circumstances right where you are at home. Now, all of this can also play out if you are someone who has a home-based business, if you work from home or with homes, well, then this energy applies to your work as well. Now, where it comes to matters of love, late last month, Venus moved into fellow water sign Pisces. This has set up a very romantic energy for you that is taking place uh, throughout most of this month, right to the light of the full moon, right till the 20th of the month. You've got Venus moving through fellow water sign Pisces. But what we also have right till the middle of the month is Mercury in this part of the sky starting to wrap up the larger Mercury retrograde season. So the Mercury retrograde season has been in effect since mid-February. And pretty much all of March, not entirely, but pretty much all of March was retrograde. And it is, as we start this month, is wrapping up the larger retrograde season still in shadow. So all of this suggests that there is energy there that is hopeful, that is romantic, and that you feel a connection to it, and that you're able to tap into it that much more to your advantage. However, as much as there is this beautiful, hopeful, romantic vibe that is there throughout the early part of the month, what we also have is those important activations of Saturn and Pluto in your opposite sign, uh, which does suggest that it can feel a little bit like the decisions you're hoping to make, whether it is uh, to move your life upward towards your larger goals, uh, whether it is to have to pay more attention to matters at home. Um, in some way, another person may be part of what is conspiring for you and part of the consideration as well. It could be business alliances, though I will say this, especially where it comes to personal matters, it could feel like there is uh, someone there who is particularly challenging or their actions in some way are motivating you uh, to try harder, to give more, to put in more effort. And in that way, you can consider what is happening with this other person as part of a blessing that will ultimately move you towards your larger goals. But it can be a little bit uncomfortable, I'm sorry to say, but that is a possibility here. But it can also be in love as well. So if you are open to meeting someone new, just keep in mind, as I look at this, it could be that there is some attraction to another person, but in some way it may uh, feel as if, or it may actually be that it's not um, in alignment with, or it's not appropriate with uh, the career that you have or the ambition that you have. And so what I mean by that is, you know, it could be that you meet somebody, you're feeling a very strong draw, but there are certain dynamics playing out uh, that make it so that it wouldn't be a good idea to pursue this for your career. Now that's gonna be up to you to decide in light of your unique circumstances, what's the right step for you to take. Um, it can also feel as if the goals that you have for your life and what may be happening in terms of an attraction to another person are not necessarily congruent with each other. Again, it's always up to you to decide the right course for you. For those of you who are getting to know somebody, I feel like this is gonna be an important time where you are asking yourself if it is that this person um, actually fits in with the sense of direction that you have and where it is that you want to go. Now for some it may be subtle. Uh, it could be something that's not necessarily stated. You're wondering if this person wants the same things that you do. However, for others it might be a little bit more direct. It may feel as if this person is challenging you or the direction in which you desire to go. Sometimes it can be a subtle thing. Sometimes it can be a little bit more obvious or a little bit uncomfortable. Of course, it's always up to you to decide what feels right for you, but I would say that if it is that there is something that you are feeling inspired to do, something that feels right for you, you can ask yourself if the questioning or if the opinion actually helps you or not, if it is that it's a deal breaker or not, because there are ways in which that we can be challenged that actually do support us and encourage us forward um, and are actually a sign of care. And then there are ways that uh, we can be challenged that maybe isn't coming from that place 
uh, that place of genuine care. And you would know the difference. You would feel the difference. And so whatever it may be, it can really go in those different distinctions. You will be able to take it as an understanding of how it is that this a uh, particular alliance may grow and if you feel like this is something you want to continue to grow with or not. For those of you in an established bond, you know, earlier I mentioned the goals, the ambitions that you may have requiring some sacrifice. Well, part of our sacrifices that we make uh, for larger aims are often our time, right? We have to put in the time and that is in a sense a sacrifice no matter how gladly it is that we give it. Well, sometimes when we have to pour our attention in a certain direction it means that we can't be there in other spaces. And so that may be part of the sacrifice that you just can't be as present with your partner as you would like to be. If what you have with your partner is strong, then this energy will ensure that that strength is affirmed for the two of you. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's so much here, but I do love the accolades. There are accolades, there are rewards. There's a real sense of momentum and growth that is truly something to look forward to and be excited about. There's a sense of possibility opening up for you, if not the world as well, okay? That's a possibility here. Uh, and that is thanks to Jupiter, blessing and reaching out to these placements at the very top of your sky. And it is gonna feel in some ways for however brief a moment or perhaps a hugely consequential moment that you are at the top of the world. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. I've had uh, a dog outside, my neighbor's dog, who's been singing throughout this whole video. I don't know how much of that you heard, but he's been singing, wanting to join along, wanting to be heard. So I hope that you enjoyed that. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.